and glasses could be a kind of a mask. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And uh, the eyes are the window to the soul. Yeah. And yeah, it's really also a protection so that uh, people can't really look into your soul. Oh, I just got goosebumps. That's so <laughs> good. <laughs> the window to your soul. Hi, and welcome to the show. Today, I am excited to share this conversation with you that I had with Fabienne. She is an optician and a vision trainer in Switzerland, and she's also an RTT therapist, and she's blended all these together to help people improve and recover their vision. So, what I love so much about this conversation, and it's why I included a part of it into the intro, is that when she talks about how people create this need for glasses in their mind as a protection system. And you'll hear her talk more about that. But I, I think that's also why my interest is so high with it. I mean, yes, I don't like wearing glasses. <laughs> I feel like they kind of get in my way. They give me a headache and I can't wear contacts because I've got astigmatism and it just makes things blurry. But there's a whole other part to it that I am so curious about. I, I Because I feel like unlocking my vision and make, and improving my vision helps to unlock other blockages that I have and will just help me with other areas of my life. And the reason why I say that is because every belief is created in the mind. And if I created a belief in my mind, I have the ability and the opportunity to uncreate it, to write over it. And so I'm always fascinated to know what sort of beliefs I came up with that are maybe no longer serving me anymore. And you'll hear her talk about the power of the mind and and how it really dictates the results that we get. So it's a great conversation to hear for that. And if you are somebody that is interested in improving their vision, she does offer a fabulous online program that includes RTT, it includes vision training, and she's even put in other modalities like breath work, which I think is so important in releasing any trapped stress that's in our body to help regulate the nervous system, to help release any kind of trauma that the body may experience. And, you know, when we say trauma, it's it may not be anything significant that's happened in our life. It might just be something that felt traumatic at the time because we were a young child and we didn't know how to process something. We didn't know how to make something better and we were helpless. And so it's just, I find that the eyesight and the vision is just a fascinating look into um, what beliefs we've created and how those beliefs might be playing out in other ways in our lives with other symptoms. So have a listen to this conversation and I will link her information in the show notes so you can check her out. She'll probably be starting her next online course in about a month or so, six weeks. So check that out. And as always, I'd love to hear any insights, questions about it. You can find me at info at jenpillipow.com. And now here's my conversation with Fabienne. So, um, yeah, my name is Fabienne Corinne Thoman and I live in Switzerland. I'm 40 years old and I've got two wonderful girls. I'm homeschooling those girls now oh, yeah. <laughs> with my husband. And yeah, it's really a challenge. <laughs> How old are they? Uh, um, they are six and ten. Oh. And um, yeah, it's wonderful um, to to have this experience as a family now. So I appreciate it's also a, a good thing, um, which I appreciate about this difficult time we're in now. Yeah, good for you. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So tell everybody a little bit about your uh, professional background and, and how you came to RTT. Oh, um, I was working as an optician and vision trainer and as such I help people to improve their eyesight or to yeah to get new glasses of course mm -hmm. and um, what I stumbled over that um, a lot of people they they got the belief that it's not possible to train their eyes right. 
And so I needed something uh, which helps me to also work on the mental blocks and the belief to, to change the belief system. And I found RTT is a wonderful, wonderful tool. Um, first, I tried it with, uh, yeah, I say just a coaching tool, which is wonderful too. But with the RTT to have the opportunity to really dive deep in the subconscious and then plant the new seed, that's so, so powerful. And I really love it. And my clients do too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, for myself, just to use myself as a personal example, the first time I had a session done for any RTT was a session on my eyes. And it blew my mind what linkages my mind had made and how that directly affected my eyesight. Absolutely. And I knew that to be true because I wished to have glasses since I was a young girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the fact that I've got glasses is the fact why I can help you to get rid of them today. <laughs> I, oh, I love that. And that's so funny that you say that because I had the exact same intention. That was one of the reasons why I started wearing glasses when I was uh, 14 or 15 or 16 is that I said to myself, I want to wear glasses. But now I'm telling myself I don't want to wear glasses. And um, as we've talked about before, I, I've come a ways with it. I used to be minus 2.50 in each eye, and now I'm minus 1.25 in each eye. So I've come a long ways, but I do still have to yeah. wear my glasses when I'm driving. And if I do want to see, like, people's faces from a certain distance I need to wear my glasses yeah. and so I I would really love to stop wearing them but I, I I'm stuck as and I've had two sessions of RTT so here's this is what I would like to propose maybe we could use me as an example of what more that I could do, be doing but before we do that I want to hear about the success stories that you have too yes so um, I've got different success stories with and without RTT. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to tell you about my first client um, ever. She was, um, it's called um, amblyopic or lazy eye. Oh, yeah. And she, she had a vision uh, of 30% oh. on the left eye. And all the doctors said it's not possible to uh, restore it or, or to, yeah, get a better vision and then we trained it and she was 40 mm -hmm. at this age mm -hmm. uh, or at this stage and um, she's got 120 percent vision now on her left eye wow. and this was 10 years ago and she still sees perfectly because she was in my practice last year to do an eye test uh -huh. and mm -hmm. she still sees uh, perfectly now Oh. And that's such a wonderful story. Yeah, that's amazing. And it doesn't even include her doing the RTT. That was through your vision training. And did you also coach her with, because like you said, so much of it is the power of the mind and the belief system that we're running. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So um, at the beginning, I had just the vision training. And then a uh, second step was the coaching. Okay. And, and she didn't need uh, a coaching because she, she, she had such a huge motivation yeah, mm. to see on both eyes. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, with her, it was really easy. But, um, yeah, of course, um, it's not the, not always the case that that is so so easy mm -hmm. she was very consistent too because um yeah it needed one year to to get this 120 oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah that's interesting um so a year of of really continuing to work on it and i'm assuming while she's working on it she would really have to keep her mind straight because otherwise yeah. we get into this loop of why am i going to all this effort if it's not going to work anyway and then we know that's a, a roadblock we know that will stop us and sabotage us yes and for her the really great thing was she had instant results and she could see that mm -hmm. her eyes are improving and mm -hmm. that made it very easy. Mm -hmm. And often that's what we stumble over because um, we try to compare, uh, am I seeing better? Oh, no, no, no. I think it's the same like yesterday. And 
like this, you really yeah hinder your success mm-hmm. and your to have um, improvements. And that's the blocks we have to work on yeah. either on a conscious or subconscious level. Yeah, yes. And so since you've been trained with RTT, how do you find that difference? Because now it's like you've got a powerhouse of tools instead of just the, the conscious coaching. Yes, um, it's so much faster. I've had a 20-year-old um, girl and she had minus two. Mm-hmm. And we started and after, I think it was six weeks, she could, yeah, see again. And this was such a, yeah, fast and easy way. It's just like a, yeah, a Sunday walk <laughs> or wow. something like that. Yeah, yeah. It, it is so amazing. For, for me, I, after my first session, I saw a difference within five days. Yeah. But okay. then it kind of stopped. So I wonder, you know what I, I haven't done? So I've done the RTT, but I have not done the vision training. So I yes. wonder if that's my missing piece. What would you say? You definitely could, um, yeah, improve your results when you include both. And that's what I'm doing with all, with the, with all the people and especially with this young girl. It was, yeah, yeah it was that. To um, yeah, to the combination because she did her, her exercises five to ten minutes a day, mm-hmm. and then she listened to the audio every yes. day. Yeah. And yeah, I think that's and also um, we have written out the beliefs what she has to tell her mind. <laughs> oh, interesting. Okay, have yeah. you have you noticed with your clients? Has there been any kind? of of a pattern you've been able to depict like a lot of people have a similar belief around something or is it just random? Yes. No, um, everyone I ha- have worked with um, had the belief that it's um, or the person, I'm not able to do it. It's not available for me. I can't do it or it's not possible. It's also the the belief because in society it's not very common that people can work on their eyesight and yeah it's very common that you can do surgery but um that you can Mm -hmm. improve your eyesight on a natural way or in a natural way Mm -hmm. it's not very known and that's why people yeah don't believe in it yeah actually i've had also a story with a 24 year old or yeah a very young woman too and um we have worked to um, from minus four to minus two around that. Oh wow! And, and then a friend of her said, "Oh wow, I don't believe that's possible and that you can do this." And yeah. really, an instant after, she was back to minus four again. Yeah. And yeah. that was such a. And I didn't have the RTT then. Mm. And yeah. yeah. Yes. So do you find with the RTT, it's, it's permanent because you're, you're getting into that subconscious programming. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 You, you plant a new seed and yeah, it's really growing from, from scratch on you, completely new. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. I know you, you set a new program. Yeah. Yeah, it's so cool. It's so in Sweden, is it common to have vision trainers? Because here in Canada, I, I don't know of one. Okay. Interesting. I know some. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> is it common in, well, it, it's your world and that's where you play, but is it yeah. is it very common in Sweden? No. No, I know. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> um, we are uh, 10 um, around the country. So, okay. um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, not oh, very wow. much. <laughs> yeah, so I completely understand people having this belief that, well, I can't, th- I wear glasses, that's just the way it is, They're, it's not available to me otherwise, because I did, when I first heard that you could improve your vision permanently and naturally, I didn't believe it either. So yeah. I understand that belief part of it, but I'm curious if, if you've come across any kind of a pattern of that 
um, really inciting belief of what made people think they even need glasses in the first place? Oh, it's always a protection. Yes. Can you tell me always. more about that? Yes, yes. Um, yeah. There are always experiences um, that people don't want wanted to see or um, yeah couldn't see or that also that people didn't want to be seen yes all yes. around us oh <laughs> and, and I think it was you that told me in our session that well do you remember when you were a kid and you played hide and seek and you covered your eyes because when you cover your eyes you think that you can't be seen yes that stuck with me that was very powerful when you told me that I, yeah. I think this protection piece is so very interesting. And if um, if you're listening to this podcast now and you're thinking about yourself and you wear glasses, think back to when you first got glasses and think about what you may have been trying to protect yourself from. And it's it's like an interesting insight into yourself. And I think it's worth saying that the protection can be, it doesn't necessarily have to mean something really extreme is happening. It could just be that for that age, it was too much for you to handle and you felt that you needed to take control and protect yourself in some way. Totally, perfectly explained. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to say that too because, yeah, people think it has to be something very traumatic or whatever and it absolutely don't have to be something what you memorize or yeah what you think it's worth to change your vision when you go back and see the situation you, yeah you may think oh wow this yeah easy situation but as, as as a child it was too much it was too overwhelming you had to shut out some uh, information mm-hmm and um, impression yes and and as a child you don't have a lot of resources in order to do that so your your subconscious mind just steps up and says well let me take care of that for you <laughs> and yeah it does it in a way exactly. that seems helpful at the moment but then you get down later on in life and and you don't you don't want it that way and and the best news about this ever is that we have a choice to change it when we know better yes yes a choice and a big possibility yes yeah yeah that protection piece is so very interesting to me I mean if we think about all the ways that we try to protect ourselves we will put on masks so that we show up as somebody different to protect who we really are because we feel that's not safe and glasses could be a kind of a mask yeah absolutely yeah and uh, the eyes are the window to the soul yeah. and yes. yeah it's really also protection so that um, people can't really look into your soul oh oh I just got goosebumps yeah. that's so <laughs> good <laughs> the windows to your soul so if you feel like it's not safe to show yourself to show your soul of course we're going to cover them up yeah absolutely hmm. Yes. Yeah, and this is what I love so much about RTT is that when you do the work and you find out whatever the memory was that created, let's say, protection for yourself, it helps you understand yourself in such a deeper way. Yes. And, and it's so empowering to have that information. Yes, yes, it is. I have had a, a man, 45, and we didn't, we, we had good successes with vision training, but we never yes, could really have, yeah, 100% um, eyesight. And then we did the RTT. And as I said, there were really simple memories or, yeah, experiences or, yeah, not really, yeah, uh, scary ones. And now he understands and it shifted so much and he's beginning now to get um, new successes and new achievements. Mm -hmm. We had the RTT session one month ago, but he, right after the session, he said, wow, I don't want to talk now, <laughs> but I can feel it shifted so much. And I've seen him a week ago. Uh, and then he told me it made so much with him mm -hmm. to understand was so powerful. Understanding yes. is 
power. Truly, it is. And and especially when we can understand ourselves better. I think there's so much value and power in that. Yes, we can yeah, get back our power and we can also yeah, choose how we want to go from there on. Mhm. Mm-hmm. So you've got a program teaching people how to do this and it includes the RTT. Can you tell yes. me a little bit more about that? Yeah, in this program, I've got a very holistic approach. So we do the vision training and then, of course, um, RTT. And usually we or I need or yeah, we need uh, three sessions. And so uh, in the program, you've got three sessions mm. and they approach, yeah, different angles. Okay. And, um, yeah, then um, there is also the uh, emotional part mm-hmm. and the, the soul level, as I said, mm. the window to the soul. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, we work on an energetic, spiritual level also to yeah, open your heart uh. and connect with your soul and then connect the eyes with the soul and feel protected enough to yeah to open up and, oh that yeah. is so beautiful fabian i've got to book that session with you <laughs> <laughs> that's my next step i feel <laughs> like that's yeah the next I, layer. I thought yeah you might uh, need a, another session yeah, yeah I've, I've done two and i have so that makes sense. improved yeah my my sessions because i've got more experience now since mm-hmm. we worked together it was last year last yeah. summer yes yeah, yeah, it's been a yeah. while. So when so, you talk yeah. about the three sessions having different angles, one of them is kind of that soul angle from the heart, which I love. What are some of what are the other two angles? Um, we go into the DNA. And yeah, we code the DNA completely. Oh, yes. New. Yes. Okay. We've done that, you and I. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Did we do the DNA? Okay. I think so. I think and that then, was the first yeah, layer. Yeah. The, the soul and the energetic. And then the first is just the, yeah, to to find the root and the mm-hmm. reason and change the yeah. belief. Yes. And so, so I, I had done that you once. Need the, the soul. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to book with you after. <laughs> <laughs> that's exciting, but I think that's a really important part of it, very important part. And, um, you know, the more you're willing to open up your heart and be you, the you'll see, I know that for me personally, I would see the benefit in so many more areas of my life, not just wearing glasses or not, <laughs> you know? No. I think the main theme we've got in, in life, we've all got in life, is um, to feel loved and to love ourselves that's it yeah everything comes back to this yeah yeah Um, yeah that's why it's a big part also in my program Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so walk me through this a little bit so somebody signs up for the program um they do three rtt sessions with you and they do some is the vision training through like online modules is it live group classes Um, it's online modules, but um, they receive also uh, group calls, Q and A calls mm. um, every second week. Nice. And they get support through a Facebook group. Mm-hmm. And we didn't talk um, over one very, very, very important part, and um, that's the nutrition. Mm, right. And actually, um. I got myself very, very good results without even wanting to. <laughs> <laughs> Accidentally. Because you like your glasses. <laughs> yes, yes. In adapting or, yeah, in having a good diet. <laughs> I was uh, three months sugar-free mm-hmm. in 2017. And all of a sudden, I didn't see with my glasses. And I was very scared and worried. I, right. th- I thought, what's going on right, right now? Yeah, and when I tested my eyes, I had a 0. 0.5 um, less or better. Wow. Eye with oh, interesting, just cutting out sugar. Yes, yes. yes. 
and now I have, of course, um, improved um, also recipes, not only sugar-free, but also with the right vitamins and okay. etc. And you receive recipes for that. And okay. um, yeah, then there are a lot of um, yeah meditations also mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Um, breath work. I love to work with breath. Oh, me too. To really release yeah. and see and activate everything and especially your eyes too oh that sounds amazing yeah Hmm. yeah okay okay and um so i just want to jump back to nutrition because we covered it really quickly but um so no sugar what are some other kind of primary staples that really help um well when you have a alkaline nutrition alkaline nutrition also and the really, really, really simple thing is just drink enough water. Ah, good. Okay. So simple. And what is it about? Water. What is it about the water? Yeah, um, we have very small. Um, oh, uh, <laughs> I don't know the the name in English. Uh, <laughs> uh, veins. Mm-hmm. Yes. Is it veins um, in our eyes? They are smaller than in the heart. Okay. And uh, they can, uh, they can the, the rubbish. No. <laughs> How can I explain that? Um, yeah, the, the bad stuff is stuck in those veins. Yeah. And when you drink enough water, yeah, yeah it, it you can it. just fl- yeah flush out. Oh. Yeah, and with the with the exercises, you are activating the metabolism of your eyes too. And yeah, then you need also to detoxify. You need the water to flush the things. Oh, that makes sense. Things. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, it's, it's interesting. I just did an episode talking about um, grounding yourself, especially during like this kind of a crazy time. Yeah. And um, when you ground yourself, then you you're taking care of yourself and then in that way you don't need so much protection. So I wonder if just energetically speaking by having more water and supporting yourself, if your, if your vision can kind of release trying to control your safety a little bit. Yeah, I I think so. Because a lot of uh, clients tell me that when they are in vacation and yeah, when they are relaxed, they notice mm-hmm. that they mm-hmm. see better. Yeah, so, definitely. Yeah. I notice that too. If I'm extra stressed out, my vision is a little bit worse. Yeah. It's tension. And it's eye. also um, your eyes, they are uh, guided through the central nervous system. Uh-huh. And when you are stressed, you are more in the sympathetic. Uh, yeah. yeah. You are more activated like this. Yeah. And um, this uh, changes your vision. Yes. Measurable. Yes. Your pupils, they are either too big or too small and you can't focus anymore. Mm-hmm. And your um, big eye muscles the, for the movement, mm-hmm. they are very, uh, the muscles are stiff and stare and tense. And yeah. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. yeah. So anybody that's got kind of chronic stress, then that's definitely an area that would need to be worked on. Yes, and that's why breath work also yes. is so powerful because yeah. breath work, yeah, is balancing everything out. Yeah, that's yeah. Great. yeah, that's really awesome. I love that you include the breath work with it. It's novel. Yeah, yeah. Good. So, how long is the program? Six months. Yeah, and yeah. are the uh, RTT sessions are they group or are they one on one? They are group. Yeah, good, good. So then when you do the Facebook calls every other week, it's so valuable to hear other people's experiences, right? Like I always learn so much more from a course when I'm able to hear what other people are doing and experiencing too. Yes, I think this exchange, yeah, has got such a huge value because people are, yeah, asking questions or they tell what they have experienced and realized that maybe, yeah, 
um, you have another uh, aha moment. Yes. From the- yeah, definitely. And sometimes it's there are yeah experiences which I can't include or tell in the modules and yeah absolutely yeah. that makes sense and mm-hmm. just having like the live example to work with is is so good too yes yes yeah. and people they can upgrade if they want to have a one-on-one session oh good yeah that makes yeah. sense and I so um, it sounds like this would not be an evergreen course. Like you would have to sign up at a particular time and then you run. So when is the next one starting? Um, I will start in uh, around May. Yeah. yeah. Okay. May. Okay, good. But if people want to work with me, we can um, already start. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, with just a one-on-one session. Yeah. And, um, yeah, they also, with the payment, um, when they invest now, they can use it as a, as a coupon for mm, the program. For the program. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Good. So yeah. I'll get your details from you, and I'll make sure to provide all of that in the show notes so people know where to find you and how to work with you. It sounds like an amazing program. I love all the different things that you've included in it. Is there yeah. anything else that you want people to know about it or anything that we didn't cover that we missed? No, I think we have talked about everything. Yes. Um, no, from my side, I'm, I'm really good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, awesome. Thank you so much for your time. It was great to reconnect with you. 